This is Chuck Marfione from All Strings Nylon, and I'm here in Ben Lomond, California, with Luthier Kenny Hill in his workshop. He's going to explain a little bit about his signature ergonomic model. So this is a variation of uh, my signature model guitar, and this is my own personal guitar, the one that I'm using, you know, for gigs or whatever, practicing in the morning. Um, a few years ago, after decades of playing guitar with a footstool and, you know, the standard, the standard way of, of doing things, I got a little restless and decided I wanted to uh, play with a strap so that I could stand up, so that I could move around, you know, you, that you can do that. Um, and of course, steel string guitars, electric guitars, uh, it's, it's normal, you know, nobody thinks twice about playing with a strap. But with classical guitars, it seems weird or it seems... Uh, uh, eccentric, let's say, to do that. And yet, what I discovered is that it really improved my sort of physical, the lower back, uh, um, and um, so in some ways the presentation of playing guitar that I could move around, that I could stand up, even for practicing, just to play scales while walking around the backyard. But if you just put strap buttons on a regular guitar, it's a little wobbly. And uh, so, since I can make my own guitar if I want to, I made first a transition, and I don't know if you can see this, but um, the way this is built, the body is deeper here than here. So it's essentially a wedge-shaped body like that. A little bit, not a lot. It's about a centimeter, centimeter and a half. But if you then put the, the strap buttons on, it, it allows the guitar to f sort of fall back. All of a sudden, gravity is on your side rather than it, the guitar wanting to tip forward. So when you do wind up hanging it on a strap, um, it settles in. It settles in nicely. And um, so that's cool. That, that worked out real good. But then, I actually worked with these guys in France on a, on a model that they called Ergonomique um, that applied, it was different than this, but uh, a, an armrest. Um, it's a, just a slope that's right here. And so I just went to my guitar and drew a line on it with a Sharpie and cut this corner off of it. And this actually is the piece uh, from this particular guitar. I can tell by the grain. It, uh, it's the same piece that came off. Now, of course, it's, and, and actually, I do it without even taking the strings off. I did it on this guitar without, it was all done, it was finished, it was built with that wedge action in it, but um, you just cut it off with a bandsaw. It's kind of crazy. It's uh, spooky or scary, but, uh, but it works fine. Um, and then, so then it has a big hole in it, and it sounds very different at that point. Uh, but it's it's kind of amazing, and what is actually amazing is that the guitar doesn't fall apart. You'd think that the string tension on it would just rip the top right off, but it doesn't even budge. It doesn't even go out of tune. So that was a, that was the first surprise, actually. So then you could kind of grind it off and plane it and do a little bit of uh, have to put some new reinforcements for the gluing, and then this is just a piece of ebony. Um, like a piece of a fingerboard, um, and uh, you bend it, glue it on, touch up the finish, and it has this armrest. Now that uh, particular feature, some people will complain about, you know, the the corner of the guitar feeling a little, uh, well, make, having a sharp spot that maybe hurts or I don't know, is an impediment to comfort. Um, and they make things that you can stick on the top of the instrument that rounds off the corner. But this is more important from another point of view, and that's how it just drops, actually drops your shoulder back. Um, so uh, it changes your, your arm posture. And that's not only comfortable, I think it's healthy, because uh, you know the, the farther out you reach, the more 
sort of distorted your shoulder is, and it can affect your neck, it can affect your shoulder. Um, and so with between the tapered body, which is tilting the face of the guitar toward me a little bit, and this rounding off, um, it's um, so much more comfortable. And then in this case, I'd make it as a 640 scale, which at my age, you know, it's a, it's a lower tension, and, and so it's a little easier to play in the left hand. Uh, it's lower tension, and the distances are slightly closer together. The frets are a little bit closer together, so it adds to the playability. So, and and in the to total of this is between this tapered body, the shorter scale. It's just super comfortable to play, and uh, you know, I don't know. It's just more ergonomically friendly. It's. Uh, uh, in this case also, since this is a gigging guitar for me, it's got a Barbera pickup in it. Um, it's a passive pickup, no batteries or anything, very simple. The pickup is, in fact, the saddle. The bridge is built into that. And so you just plug it in, plug it into an amp, and play. So for a restaurant or a wedding or wherever you need to plug in to play, it's great, but it uh, doesn't really interfere with the acoustic. Really, I have noticed no differences. So these things are all, you know, uh, uh, tweaking the engineering of the guitar, and you might think that degrading the sound, but I don't think so. I think it all goes together. It still comes together as a perfectly good guitar. Um, no problem. Thank you. 